Pokemon Happy Meal Toys 2015. Total of eight figures in all. We have Pikachu here, which I will demonstrate in a moment. We also have Primal Garudon. I love the yellow and red paint scheme along with the black. And by the way, all these figures are from the games um, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And for the third Pokemon in the series for these Happy Meal toys, we have uh, Primal Kyle Gray. Alright, there he is. Alright, for the fourth one, we have Lugia, or Lugia. Yeah, I'll set him back down there. For the fifth one, we have Ray Quaza. And this is Mega Latios, I believe. One of my favorites that I use in Omega Ruby. And don't worry, I will show which each Pokemon does in a second. And we have Hoopa. Looking awesome. One of the most awesome looking Happy Meal toys in a long time. And finally, we have uh, Woe Buffett. All right. Oh, almost dropped them. All right. And each Pokemon comes with their own uh, card. And also, you can, I guess, scan the toy um, from your cell phone and play a game. So, let's start out with Pikachu. So, here's the instruction sheet for Pikachu. As I mentioned earlier, you can scan your toy and unlock a game on your cell phone or your iPad. And on the back of each instruction sheet, we'll mention the same info about how to unlock Hoopa in your uh, 3DS game for Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. And it just pretty much tells you you have to bring in your Nintendo 3DS to a local McDonald's. And uh, I guess select Mystery Gift and Receive Gift. And uh, you can get your Pokemon via the internet. All right, so for Pikachu, it just says, move him along a flat surface and watch his tail light up. So this table I have right here in the camera is not exactly uh, flat, but I will try. It's not lighting up. And there he goes. <laughs> So of course it's going to be hard to see because I have lots of lights going on, but what if I sort of turn off all the lights here? Alright. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that is so awesome. Check that out. There he goes. One more time. That is so dope. I love that. So I'm going to turn back on all my lights here. So you guys can see Pikachu clearly. So basically, you just roll the wheels along a flat surface and just watch the sparkles go off inside of his tail. And it does look very awesome uh, in the dark, of course. You're not going to see it very well in uh, very lit settings. All right, so let's check out the card that Pikachu came with. I'm going to have to use my trusty scissors and it's uh, very considerate of McDonald's to include a cardboard inside the plastic with the card so the card doesn't get bent easily. So kudos to McDonald's for that. All right, let's see what Pokemon card I got. Oh, I got a Skitty. I thought that K said an H and I was about to say something else, but <laughs> since mostly younger viewers are going to be watching this video, I'm not going to use foul language. So I got a Skitty with my Pikachu. Very nice. Alright, so up next we have Primal Grudon, and on the instruction sheet it mentions that there is a lever on the back of him which moves his arms and head. So there's the lever right there I'm presuming, 
and let's give this a try. Very awesome. I always loved this Pokemon from Omega Ruby. Um, I remember trying to capture him in a Pokeball. It took tons of tries, but I finally caught him. And I found out there were stronger Pokemon. And I was like, huh, interesting. But he always had a very interesting look that I always appreciated. Very awesome looking figure. All right, so that's Primal Groudon. And let's check out the Pokemon card that he came with. I got a Trico. Alright, for Pokemon number three, we have a Primal Kyogre. And this lovely blue coloring here. And on the instruction sheet, it mentions you're supposed to put the head in a cup of water, pull back on the tail, and you can actually squirt the water out. Interesting, I don't have any water near me. Um... So this is how it would work. You would put the front end inside some water and then pull back on this tail and then you could squirt the water out like that. Very interesting and you could rotate the tail a little bit. Actually you can rotate it all the way around which is pretty awesome. Alright and the Pokemon card I got with Primal Kyogre is a Zigzagoon. Pokemon number four, we have Lugia, and it mentions that there is a lever on the back of this figure which you could push down to move his arms or his wings, and it would move just like that. Very awesome. I love the uh, white and purplish color on this Pokemon. It does look very cool. Uh, his tail does rotate. His legs do move, both legs do move indeed, and the head does indeed rotate. Very cool Pokemon. Alright, so let's set Lugia down and take a look at the Pokemon card that was included with that figure, and I got Metatite. Pokemon number 5, we have Rayquaza, and in the instructions right here, it says push the button on the back as shown, and it moves his mouth like so. And the button's right there, by the way. Very cool looking Pokemon. Um, so far, for his articulation, you can... Wow, that's interesting. The head, I thought that could rotate. Maybe it's just extremely stiff on my figure. I don't know, but it's not moving at all. But uh, that part moves. Um, that part moves. And... Could have sworn there was a third section on him that moves. Does the arms? No, the arms do not move at all. But you could rotate his twisted body in some interesting poses. And the card that came with Rayquaza is Maril. Moving on to Pokemon number 6, we have Mega Latios, which is also another favorite of mine in Omega Ruby. And I also love how you could use this Pokemon to fly around the map and get around a lot faster, which is pretty awesome. So, on the instructions, uh, it mentions to put the projectile in its mouth and push on the translucent button on the back, and that will shoot out this projectile piece, which I will demonstrate right now. And I hope I don't lose that missile. There it goes. So, um, now I have to find that missile piece. Got it. All right, there it is, awesome. And that just easily goes back in Megalatios' mouth like that. And I love how the button on the back is translucent. It's a very neat uh, look for this Pokemon toy. Uh, no articulation at, at all. It's just one uh, stationary piece. But uh, the fact that he has the action feature that shoots out a projectile is pretty awesome. And the card that I got with him is... Oh, well, look at that. I got another Trico. Interesting. Alright, moving on to Pokemon number 7, which I think is one of the most interesting ones in this uh, McDonald's lineup here, is Hoopa. And check out the arms on this Pokemon. It's translucent with some yellow paint on there, which looks pretty awesome. And it comes with this ring that you could store on his or hers or its 
a horn there on the side of its head. But this ring is mainly used for an action feature that this Pokemon has. What you're supposed to do is put this ring in Hoopa's hand. And then you're supposed to, I guess, pull back on its horn. And it's supposed to toss the ring just like that. And I believe I just lost that ring. So excuse me one moment while I go find that ring. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So now that I found the ring, I could place it back in Hoopa's hand. And now Hoopa's ready to attack some of its fellow Pokemon members with that ring. Well, it's supposed to toss it. <laughs> there it goes. Awesome. I'll just store that on Hoopa's horn right there so I do not lose that again. And the card that came with Hoopa is... Torchic. Alright, so the eighth and final figure in this uh, McDonald's Pokemon toy lineup for 2015 is Wobafet, Which is mainly in this uh, sky blue color. Except for the tail, which appears to have uh, two little eyes on it. And... Uh, the destruction said nothing about the tail, but it, it appears that it can move just a little bit. So, it has a lever on the back, and you just push that down, and his mouth and arm move. And I guess you could use your imagination and pretend like he's saying, Wobbuffet! 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 <laughs> Very awesome. Um, so, the card that came with Wobafet is another Marill. Alright, so thank you all for watching my video on these Pokemon Happy Meal toys for 2015, which are all currently available at your local McDonald's if you decide to purchase a Happy Meal. Um, I was fortunate enough to get all of these together from eBay for around $16, uh, which is not too bad. So eBay is another option if you do not want to go to McDonald's. Um, I do like the fact that they come with Pokemon cards. And my favorites out of this collection so far would have to be uh, Primal Grodon. Because I always loved his design from Omega Ruby. And check it out, he has the Omega symbols on the back of his claws, which are pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, I do like uh, Mega Latios. He does look pretty awesome. He, she, it. <laughs> uh, these two right there, their designs are pretty cool. Uh, Hoopa has a very interesting design out of the bunch with bright, vivid colors and translucent arms. Very, very cool looking. Kyogre also has an interesting design with uh, clear translucent pieces on the back of him. Very nice. Uh, Wobafet is very funny. I love that the uh, mouth and arm moves. And of course Pikachu is a lot of fun to play with, especially watching that tail light up in the dark. So all these are very uh, cool and interesting Pokemon figures for this year's Happy Meal lineup. Um, definitely step up from most of their toys that they give out in their Happy Meals at McDonald's. Um, Alright, so once again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later!